What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how to use any font and turn it into a colouring book with Canva. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name is Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video I'm going to share with you how to use any font that you have or you purchase and turn it into a colouring book like this within Canva. Now first things first before we get actually into that there's one thing that I need to talk about really quick and that is you only have an option to upload fonts if you have Canva Pro. So here we are for Canva Pro. If you want a 30 day free trial you can clink clink nope you can click that link down in the description below. Now there's multiple reasons why you'd want Canva Pro. For me personally I like it because I can have unlimited folders just here, which means I get 100 gigabytes of storage. Now, this is really important because you want to be keeping stuff in the cloud and not on your computer or your laptop. Main reason being, if something goes wrong with my laptop, then I've still got all my books backed up in Canva within these folders. So that's one of the reasons why I love Canva Pro, but the second is here. So we get to choose from over 3,000 premium fonts within Canva, or we can upload our own. Now, if you upload your own, again, you do need that Canva Pro, but, we can actually have 100 fonts uploaded per account. So again, if you have that Canva Pro, and also if you have a Creative Fabrica membership, we can then get any font from here. So all of these fonts, if you have a membership, you can download at no extra cost. If you don't have a membership, you have to buy them separately. But again, that membership allows me to come in and download any of these fonts at no extra cost. And look at this, there's over 67,000 fonts. So I can download here, go over to Canva Pro, and then upload my fonts in here. Now, if you want to see a video all about uploading your fonts within Canva, then click right there in the right hand corner as I'll add a video just there. Now, right here, look at this. So these are the fonts that I've used. If we scroll up, let's get into this properly. So right here is the fonts. These fonts are called, this one is Ask Why. Again, this is actually came from Creative Fabrica. And then this one, is Quotes Sans. Now, I think this one come from Creative Fabrica as well. Now, the whole point of this video, I know I've already babbled on a little bit, but the whole point is that you can turn any single font that you have into a coloring in font and create your books around those fonts. So right down here, we can see what that looks like. Looks pretty cool. There's multiple ways that you can do different types of coloring books as we can see just here, but to turn this into a coloring in font is really easy. So once you've got your font on a page like this, we can then go to effects. Now again, this works with any font within Canva and any font that you upload. So from here, we go to effects and right here on the left hand side is where we're going to have that option. What we want to do is go to splice. Now you can play around with all these different effects just here. Some of them are pretty cool, but again, we want splice. Now with splice, this is going to give you the effect of having an outline around the outside of your font, and then you can make the inside white, which means people can color it in. And again, you can do this with absolutely any font. Now, if we go here, here's the stuff that we get to change. So if we scroll down a little bit, we want to make the thickness, actually we'll keep the thickness round about the same. Now the offset, we want zero, and then I've the direction, we want zero as well. So let's just do that. And now we can see it starting to look better. So from here, I'd click on the color picker and choose white. Then if I go back to here, I can play around with that thickness, that border as we can see. So let's keep that around 55. 
And then I'd want to do the same on here. So we go to Effects, go to Splice, go to Thickness. We're going to keep that the same. Offset, zero. Direction, zero as well. And then we want to change that to white. And as we can see, it's starting to look pretty good. So if we click on there, go to Effects, go to Splice, Thickness, we'll keep the same. Do that to zero again and then go to zero, change that to white, and then we have the beginnings of the inside of our book. Now again, this can you can do this with absolutely any font. So now if I click on here, and if I go to my fonts, right here on the left hand side, if it's going to do it, There we go. Now from here, if I click on any one of these fonts that I have, all these are paid by the way, these ones just here, which I've recently used. These are again, all from Creative Fabrica. But now if I click on any single one of these with that effect on, it will change it into a coloring in font. So let's just go through one of these. Let's change it to this one. Now if we click on there, it's going to update just here. And we can see it's added the effect. And again, we can do this with absolutely any single font. Now, why is that a good thing? Well, that means that when we create our coloring books, no one else is going to have the same design because as you can see, just by playing around with the fonts, you can make some really nice looking designs. Now, top tip, when you actually pay for your fonts, you can create a lot better designs because Believe it or not, your fonts play a huge, huge part in how your books look. So that's why it's always a good idea to purchase your own fonts. And again, I get mine all from Creative Fabrica because they have so many fonts, over 67,000. I have the membership, which means I can download at no extra cost. And then because I also have that Canva Pro just here, I can upload them and then make a lot of better designs. Now this is just an example because I wanted to share with you how you can turn any colouring, no, any font into a colouring in book by using those effects. We can see that just here. If you want to add a little drop shadow, there's a little thing that you actually have to do because right here they haven't added the option to layer effects. So Canva, if you are watching, please add that because it would be awesome. But right now, because we can't add the drop shadow onto this effect, all we need to do is go to here, duplicate. So now we've duplicated that text. If we go to effects, turn that off, we now have the solid font. Now what I like to do is just put it over the top like that. Now if we zoom in a little bit, move it over ever so slightly, and then if we play around with the transparency, let's change this to 75 so it's not quite as bold and now if I push this behind that font we're going to get that drop shadow effect so now if we go back to here we have that little drop shadow so that's how I create drop shadows on the fonts when I use this effect. So doing this you can make some really nice coloring books there's loads of different ways that you can do it now if we scroll down to here we can see one of the ways. Now this drop shadow on here is a little bit bold. I would go around and change that. Maybe adjust the drop shadow on these two fonts as well. Ideally, I'd just play around with this until it starts looking good. Now right here, these are just graphics again, which I've got from Creative Fabrica. These are actually SVGs. Now I created a video all about coloring books and using SVGs a while back. If you want to see that, I will link a video right there in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch. The idea of having SVGs as well. So these are SVGs. If we click on here, so this one actually isn't, but the majority of the time, if you click on a graphic which is an SVG, which you have uploaded personally into Creative, no, into Canva, you can play around with the colors, which is really great because you can make them black and white, and then you can play around with the colors on the graphics for your covers. So that's really important as well. Again, if you want to watch a video all about that, it is there in the right hand corner. Now for this example, I have all these different kind of graphics here. We actually have the black and white just there, which is perfect for creating coloring books. So right now I can play around, add some really funny 
quotes into a book and then I could add images like this and start layering them on top of each other until they look good. So I could take this coffee out, I could move that, I could move that back over to there like so. And this is how you actually create a design and not use as is. See, most people see graphics like this, they'll add a page, so let's take this off, and then they'll just add a graphic like that, put it on, keep it like that, and then they call that a colouring book. That's a no-go. That's using as is. You never want to use graphics from anywhere that you get them as is, like this. You always want to use them in combination with each other to actually create a design, like here. Now, if we actually scroll down, like I said, there's multiple ways that you can create a colouring book. You can do it like this, using graphics and some funny quotes, or... If we scroll down, let's just take away this one. If we scroll down to here, you can create them like this. Now, this is just a little Christmas graphic just here. The back is some type of mandala. It's actually not a mandala, but it's a pattern. Again, which I got from over on Creative Fabrica. Again, I literally use Creative Fabrica to get everything for my books, my graphics, my fonts, absolutely everything. But in this way, we can create really nice looking colouring books using different patterns for the background and then just different funny fonts, uh, no, different funny quotes with multiple different fonts on that page to make it look good. And from here we can see this actually looks pretty good. Now one top tip that I do want to give really quick and that's just reminded me is if you're going to create quotes like this for colouring books and things like that, a good top tip or a rule of thumb to live by is using two different fonts, two different fonts that actually complement each other. So right here we have the font Ask Why and I've got that in combination with Quotes Sans. Now what I like to do is just play around with fonts until it starts looking good. Now, if you want a more in-depth training on creating simple colouring books, then come and check out our course named Simple Colouring Books. Now, you can get here by going to simplecolouringbooks.com. This will give you step-by-step. -step. Hold on, let me just roll down the page. There we go. This will teach you how to easily create colouring books. Here's a lost list of all of the modules just here. Now, one thing I do want to note as well is that this course, our Simple Colouring Books course, is actually a part of the vault. So with the LCB vault just here, you get four courses in one. You get Kids LCB, Q4 Profits, Simple Colouring Books, and then all the vaults training videos as well. So if you did want to get Simple Colouring Books, you're better off option would be to grab the vault as we have those four courses in one or if you just want a good simple course on creating covers this is our completely free course come and check out our simple cover creation this will teach you how to create covers for no content books and like I said this course is completely free but it's going to give you the tips and tricks that you need to actually learn to create covers and if you want to check out this course you can get here by going to simplecovercreation.com and this one's highly recommended if we look just here we have 105 ratings most of them all five star as well so again if you want to check out any of those there will be links down in the descriptions below but that's how easy it is to turn literally any font into a colouring in book. It all takes time, you still want to find fonts that complement each other and look good, and then you just need some design skills, not much, just a little bit, or know what actually looks good on the eyes to create your colouring books, because as we can see, pardon me, as we can see just here, it looks pretty good, but again, that's how simple it is to create colouring books literally from any font that you have. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.